or maybe just a summer. And <clears throat> what it is, is using the fraction bar, which we've discussed before, the fraction bar means divide. And we can set up division problems and come up with answers really, really quickly using a fraction bar. What you need to remember is the top number, or your numerator, or your dividend in a division problem, the top number is what's being split up. So when you read a story problem, the top number is always going to be what number is being split up. Okay, the bottom number, or the denominator, or the divisor in division, is how many groups are you splitting that into. Okay, so that's always going to be the bottom number. So what's being split up goes on top of the fraction. How many groups goes on the bottom. Okay, so here I have a uh, story problem, and it says four friends share six sheets of poster board equally. How many sheets of poster board does each friend get? Well, I'm going to highlight here the parts that tell us a number. Okay, so we have four friends, and we have six sheets of poster board. Then if you look at the question, it says how many sheets of poster board does each friend get? So that tells us which one is being split up. Remember, that's our top number. Well, in this situation, it's either the four friends or the six sheets of poster board. So what's being split up? The poster board is. So that means we're going to put the six on top. That's our numerator, or our dividend. Okay, how many groups is it being split into? Well, there's four friends sharing it, so it's being split into four equal pieces. Okay. Now, what we've learned over and over, and we've been working with for months with this, is if I have an improper fraction, all I have to do is divide it. So I'm going to take 6, and I'm going to divide it by 4. I'm using a keypad here, so that's why my handwriting's bad. So 4 goes into 6 once, which is 4. Subtract it, and I've got 2 left over. So you guys know we've been working on this for a while that that would be 1 and 2 fourths. But 1 and 2 fourths isn't reduced, so if you reduced it, you would get 1 and 1 half. Okay? So that means each friend would get one full sheet of paper and a half a sheet. Okay? Let's try another one here. Okay? There are three students in a craft class and two sheets of construction paper for them to share equally. What part of the construction paper will each student get? Okay, so once again, we need to identify what's going on here. So if we take a look at this problem, it looks like there's three students in the class, and they're going to share two sheets of construction paper. Okay, so we have to identify first what is being split up in this story problem. Well, the two sheets of construction paper are being split up. Okay, then we have our fraction bar, which means divide. And then what, how many groups are we splitting that construction paper up into? We're splitting it into three groups. Now this time it is not an improper fraction. It's a regular fraction. But um, some of you might be saying, well, I don't know what 2 divided by 3 is. Well, 2 divided by 3 is staring at you right in the face. 2 divided by 3 is 2 thirds. So that means everyone would get 2 thirds of a sheet of paper. You didn't even have to do any dividing. All you have to do when it's a regular fraction is just reduce it, and you're done. Okay, that's the simple part of this little uh, uh, model here for division. Whatever's being split up goes on top. How many groups goes on the bottom? If it's a regular fraction, all you got to do is reduce. And if it's an improper fraction, you divide. And those are things that we've been working on.